Came down to the wire as the Cruz Espeldon team filed their candidacy just in time to beat the buzzer today. The building was electric as the team entered the GEC office, followed by a train of supporters. <laughs> Family, friends, and campaign supporters were all on hand to cheer on Cruz Espeldon as they filed their candidacy paperwork. It's been very positive, and uh, we're happy because there seems to be some excitement out there for us, and, uh, and we appreciate that a lot. A lot of people out there are still waiting for what the, the pla what different uh, platforms and what the different campaigns stand for, and so we need to get our message out, and I think we're going to be fine. The team announced their candidacy well into the campaign season and far later than the other two gubernatorial candidate teams. Calvo Tenorio entered the race back in July of 2009, followed by Gutierrez Ogden, who entered in January of 2010. The Cruz Espaldon filing today was just an hour before the deadline. Well, there were a lot of things that we've been doing. We've been very busy going door-to-door uh, -door and canvassing and things like that. And uh, this was just one of the opportune times. I think we needed the whole the three-day weekend. It was kind of good to just sit back, re relax, and uh, reflect upon uh, this whole campaign and then on the candidacy itself. And then uh, um, basically take three days to pray about it and come into here with, uh, with a renewed spirit. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll from here on end. The Cruz Espaldon filing has a huge impact on the election, resulting in the need for a Republican primary. It will come down to Cruz Espaldon versus Calvo Tenorio for the Republican ticket. The winner will go on to face the Gutierrez-Uggen team in the general election. Keeping it local for Guam News Watch, I'm Chris Pinko.